What's up everyone, it's Ice Man Oz, aka J, and in today's video I've got for you guys some tips for Star Wars Battlefront. Now hopefully this video will help any of you guys out there who are just beginning, and also those of you who know your way around the battlefield. But with that being said, let's get into the video. So the first thing you want to do is to go into your settings and turn the first person view into the third person view. Now the reason this is absolutely essential is because one, it helps your peripheral vision, right? Because you can see more of the screen, you can obviously see your opponents better and obviously you'll have better results. Not only that, but due to the effect of practically no recoil and no deviation on the blasters, and because you don't need the extra hip fire regarding first person, it's really not that much of an issue to go into third person. It's really just a win-win, and really one of the first things you should do when starting Star Wars Battlefront. Now, I did mention the blasters there just briefly, and that helps me smoothly move along to my next tip, and that is the star cards. Now, it's absolutely essential that you utilize the star cards in Battlefront. The difference between games like Call of Duty and Battlefield is the star cards themselves because they really are what saves you in a lot of situations. Things like being able to boost jump, have force fields, and cycler rifles are absolutely insane. And when to rotate them, when to use them at the right time is absolutely essential to your game. Now initially when you first start playing Star Wars Battlefront, you won't even think about using these things. And even when you do get a few hours into the game, you still won't know how to utilize them properly. Rotating them at the right time is really a skill within itself and something that you will gain with practice. The next tip I have is use your environment as cover. Now, if you look on the screen, you'll see rocks and they aren't just decorations, believe it or not. They are used especially in this game for cover. Now, traditionally in FPS games, the environment doesn't really play that big of a role rather than just to have a place to fight. In Battlefront, each piece of environment has a role to play and that is something you will definitely notice when playing this game. As you see on the screen, I always try to use the environment to my advantage. Try to get places where I need to hide, especially when I'm in a spawn trap and there's a situation where six players are coming out at once and I need a place to hide so I can catch them off guard. And lastly, I notice something that is quite odd. When people get something as powerful as a hero, for example, or an ATST, they'll have the tendency sometimes to sit back and to not really push up and try and get kills. Here's the thing, you are a hero for a reason. Luke Skywalker in the movies didn't sit back, did he? You know, he went for it. Darth Vader wasn't, you know, well, Darth Vader did sit back, but that's not the point, okay? The, the point is, the ATSTs and the heroes are supposed to be used aggressively to get the objectives. So whenever you do actually get heroes and ATSTs and all this wonderful stuff, make sure you're utilizing them properly. It's not only important to you, but it's also important to your teammates and it helps with a fun and balanced gameplay experience. But there it is guys, I just want to give you a couple of tips real quick. Uh, hopefully it helped you out. If it did, make sure to subscribe for more content. I have Battlefront coming all the way through its life cycle, and I also have Battlefield, pretty much FPS content. So if that's your kind of thing, be sure to subscribe to my channel. There it is, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and peace.